Hello everybody, hope you're having a wonderful day, check the card if you missed the last episode, and with that, welcome back to Life is Strange 2. We are on our way to find Daniel. By a... Uh, Shit, I need a break. Walking out in the sun. Might be some shade at the next billboard. This is, ooh, he looks rough. Stop. <laughs> Can't run for miles in this heat. Ugh. <sighs> yes. Shade. Oh, man. My feet are killing me. Feels like hiking in hell. I bet. <laughs> I bet that's terrible. <sighs> Shit. My throat feels like sand. Never drew a desert before. Huh. It's so empty, empty. and quiet. <laughs> it is very empty. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I can't start drawing if I don't look at the subject first. I was trying to figure out what you wanted to look at. Okay. <clears throat> Just draw now. Don't think about anything else. This place is so empty. Sean's being kind of bossy. <laughs> at least I won't mess up perspective for once. <sighs> I guess that's an okay start. But I can keep going. Got a good picture of it. I'm ready to draw now. I need to train my visual memory even harder now. Guess I could spice things up a bit. <laughs> Make the whole thing funnier. <laughs> I could try adding details. Focus a bit more. Man. My eye always starts hurting when I focus for too long. A bit. All right, takes time to get going. <laughs> Daniel better be okay. Feels like I haven't seen him in years. Of course I miss everything about him. Even his whining. Yeah, you couldn't wait to get out on your own. Now you are. And it sucks. Trouble with What's that? that? Huh. Well, at least I got company. Well, I was trying to avoid it. <sighs> <sighs> J 
Oh, shit, there's a truck coming. Whoa. Is he honking at me? He's topping. Uh, okay, uh, be cool. Just see what he wants. Hopefully to give me a ride. That'd be sweet. Truckers can't be cops. Right? Hey, need a lift? It's too damn hot to be walking. Oh, wow. Yeah, why not? Yeah, thanks. Hold up. Like shit. Your eye okay? Yeah. Just a scratch. Good. Well, I hope it's not contagious or something. Hey Anton, you there? Everything all right? Yeah. What's up? GPS tells me you parked in the middle of nowhere. Just wanted to know what happened. I, uh... I had to make a shit stop. Over. <laughs> too much information, but... 10-4. <laughs> you mean number two. <laughs> you owe me a beer for that. Over and out. Don't freak out. I... I wouldn't have picked you up if I cared about that hitchhiking law. Okay. Cool. There's a hitchhiking wall? I don't so, even know that. You hungry or what? You look hungry. <sighs> I am. Thank you. As you heard, my name's Anton. Mm. It is good, huh? My wife packs the best sandwiches. <laughs> Messy. Best sandwich ever. Seriously. Thanks, sir. Anton. Anton. Right. Anton. What's your destination? Hmm. Haven Point. You've heard of it? Oh, yeah. Straight ahead, about an hour. He's got a little cactus. That's screaming. Take a nap if you want. You don't have to stay awake to be nice. Hey, don't worry, kid. I'm not a fucking weirdo. That's exactly Just what a, a fucking weirdo would say. trucker. Hmm. 
Hmm. Game's done a good job of making me suspect everybody. <laughs> Last stop, Haven Point. Thank you so much. You just be careful out here. These people are kind of weird. Really? Okay. 10-4, good buddy. Church. Get <laughs> it all out. That's it. <laughs> Is it gone? I... I think. <laughs> Good. Scoot back inside now. Okay, Dad. Boy, hello there, young sir. Can I help you? Uh... I think so. Yeah, uh... You here for the service? Uh... Looking for someone? Not really. Looking for someone. Don't be shy. Everybody's welcome here. No matter who you are or where you're from. In his eyes, we are all equal. Plus, we have a pretty nice spread after the service. Stay as long as you want. Okay. Um, thanks. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'm just a vessel for our reverend. Thank her. <laughs> Looks like you're here to see our new miracle, right? Oh, no. Uh, what miracle? Huh. You haven't heard of him? Then I won't spoil it for you. He'll be here any minute now. Just come inside and see for yourself. Praise the Lord. Is it the little girl? I cut that off, I didn't mean to. Oh, feel that cold air. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Oh, thank God for AC. The world is in trouble. We are in trouble. Can you feel it? So I'm not the only one. Amen to that. We are surrounded by false idols. A society run by greed and technology. Oh, shit. I will draw too much attention. Better try upstairs. Why do we bow to these machines and ignore the real creator? Why? Faith. We hear that word a lot, but faith is not just a word, my brothers and sisters. Oh no. What is faith? Remember Luke 18, 27. What is impossible for man is possible for God. Amen. With that righteous faith comes the salvation of your souls. Can you cross that invisible bridge to salvation? Yes. Do you want your soul to be saved, brothers and sisters? Yes. Oh, yes. oh, yes. You are not like all these sinners out there. So I never asked the Lord for a sign. Then, he gave me one. He spoke to me and told me that I was doing right. And to reward our great faith, the Lord sent me the ultimate gift. Yes, he did. An angel 
a child graced with the power of God. Yes. The miracle we have all been praying for, waiting for. Can I get a hallelujah? hallelujah. Do you have faith in his power? Do you have faith in me? Then please welcome our newest member and our latest miracle, the angel Daniel. There he is. Here is Daniel. Oh, praise be the Daniel. prophet who was thrown to the lions by false prophets. But God saved Daniel so he could do his work. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Daniel was brought to me to deliver us, praise to guide us from the wilderness to our destiny. Now Daniel will reveal the true power of the Lord. He's showing his showing off his power. With your own eyes. Now we have a voice. A messenger. Our flock keeps growing. I see more and more new faces. But this is only the beginning. You must spread the word. Bear witness to this miracle. Thank you so much for coming. And God bless all of you. Amen. Praise you, Daniel. As our Reverend said, we do appreciate your kind donations. This helps us keep our church and to spread the word of God. Oh, yeah. There's only a few tickets left for our picnic raffle next Sunday. Don't miss the child and another miracle. Any questions, please talk to me outside. Bless you for coming today. <laughs> I mean, at least he's in a safe place. <laughs> hi. Oh, uh, hi. I saw you out in that parking lot earlier. <laughs> yep, that was me. I like to be here, too. We can see the whole room, and it's where a reverend mother teaches us classes. <coughs> Whoa. You okay? Need some water? Uh, and no, sorry. I'm just kind of sick. Oh, that sucks. Uh, that's too bad. <coughs> hey. What happened to your eye? Well, that's a long story. That's okay. My name is Sarah Lee, 
What's yours? Aw, you must be Jacob's sister. Did you get that letter from Jacob back when he was in California? Yes. <coughs> How did you know he was in California? I was with him. Uh, that's how we met. You are Daniel's brother? Really? He's always talking about you. Hey, uh, not too loud. Oh, well. Yes, I'm Daniel's brother, but I need some help. The Reverend Mother says we always have to help our neighbor. What do you need? Ooh, tell me all the info. What is Daniel doing here? He's our miracle, and the Lord brought him right to our Reverend Mother. I like him. He's really kind and funny. We play together all the time. Who is this Reverend? You don't know her? That's our mother, Lisbeth. She was blessed by the hand of God when she was my age. <laughs> she can't ever sin. The Lord guides her. Okay. <laughs> what is this place? This is our home. <laughs> our church and community. The Reverend Mother says we were all chosen by God. So is this a cult? <laughs> is that where this is going? So, can you take me to Daniel? Oh, yes. He's gonna be so happy when he sees you. He missed you so much for his birthday. It will be like a late surprise. Daniel, you're the living proof of their faith. And mine. I know you understand. I guess... I mean... Sean? Oh my... Sean! He came back! I knew it! You've grown up, and I know. Do I look older? What? You what certainly look better. Eye? Don't worry. It's okay. Did that happen at the farm? Because of... me? I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. Just it's what over, Daniel. Say. Doesn't matter, man. We just gotta walk on. Does it hurt? No. <laughs> Not as much as your haircut. Shut up. <laughs> it's different. I kind of like it. It's it so suits you. I didn't want to leave you there. Nothing I could do. I was so scared. I even thought you were dead. And... It's okay. We're together now. Yes. So, are you gonna stay with us now? Huh? I... We still need to go to Puerto Lobos. But... We don't need to. We have a new home now. Look! One step at a time. Daniel, give Sean a chance to process this. I'm sure this is all so overwhelming. By the way, my name is Lisbeth Fisher. We all prayed for your safe return. Sean, you must be a believer now in our Lord, too. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so we definitely need to blend in here, whether it's belief or not. Mm. Blend in. Kinda. Daniel told me you had faith. That's how you got here. But first, I need Sarah Lee and Daniel to grab the medicine kit. We have to take care of our new guest. This is a place of healing. Aww. Let's do it later. I want to talk to him now. Daniel? Now. Okay, Reverend Mother. Let's go, Daniel. Whoa, whoa. Hold on. Well, Sean, it's a pleasure to meet you. This is a real blessing today. 
You were away from Daniel for quite a while. I was in a coma. Of course. <laughs> I wasn't judging you. So what is your plan, Sean? This is a blessed family, and it would be good for Daniel to have you by his side. You should know that the Lord has big plans for him. You have big plans for him. Uh, it's... We can maybe kind of toe the line and say, yeah, maybe we'll check it out. Maybe I could stay here for a while. You know, I am impressed by your drive and devotion. But small is the gate and narrow the way. You've led your brother into killing one of God's innocent creatures, disrupting nature's balance. This is a terrible sin, and until you make penance for it, I can't accept you here. What? Are you serious? I'm sorry, my son. I'm not your son. And Daniel isn't gonna be your golden cow. Daniel, come on! Why don't we ask him? What he wants to do. Do not touch me! What the fuck? What did you do? Nothing. Enough. You spilled blood in the Lord's home. Sean! What happened? No, whatever. Your brother came in here, impure and acting like a criminal. But he can be saved, Daniel. I'm sorry, Sean. She's right. I will pray for you. Then, when you're ready, we can. She's trying to manipulate you. Let me lead you this is to a the freak one cult, true light that never goes out. I want to be your friend. You're crazy. Let's get out of here, Daniel. Mm. I want to stay. Of Just course you do. Here's your answer, Sean. We're together again, so we can go. Right? Come on. Get off me, dude. What? Daniel! <coughs> let me go, asshole! <coughs> Daniel! They're not your family! Stop it. You just need to have faith. We'll be waiting. Daniel! It's okay, Sean. Sean. Daniel! <sighs> there you go. Satisfied? Now don't you ever come back! Get up or do not. What are these? Come on, kid. Don't make me do this. You're not gonna win. Oh, yeah, I can't harm any of God's creatures. Daniel! Daniel! You're pissing prick. me off. This is private property. Oh, I have shocker. a legal right to stop any intruders like you. I just want my brother. But he doesn't want you. He was brought here, and this is where he's staying. Next time, I will not hesitate to use this. Now get out of here. Daniel, hey! Daniel. Sean? Karen? You won't get him back like this. Let's go. Should I know? Should I know who Karen is? They acted like they knew each other. Mm. 
This is literally... This is a cult storyline, ain't it? Sean, what happened to your eye? Why the hell are you here? How did you find me? Well... Um... I got a letter from uh, Jacob. He said you were missing. And that Daniel needed help. I believed him. Hmm. So you finally decided to check on him. You know, Sean, sooner or later, we're gonna have to talk. Where are we even going? Oh, is this the I mall? I have a hotel room. You're gonna need to rest and clean that dressing. I can remember what her name was. I bet it's the mom by them being <laughs> kind of hostile. Kind of shocking how people of faith could have such a, uh, Wake way to violence, huh? Shocker. Man, didn't clean the pain away, but that felt good. I bet. Damn, you look bad. Gotta change that dressing soon. Karen seems to be on the move quite often. Wonder how long Karen has been here. This country is just way too big. So Karen did check it out. Wonder if she saw Daniel in action. A private picnic. Oh, you can eat barbecue. Limited C twenty dollar donation. Bro, this is a freaking cult. I mean I guess not. Well they're they're using Daniel to get money is is I don't know if that classifies as a cult or not, but it just kind of felt like the traditional cult shows you see is like people get indoctrinated and then like shut off from their family their family tries to come get someone out of said cult and they're like mm -mm, you can't At least do it that way. Alive. you gotta do it this way but he seemed different now i know i shouldn't peek but whatever Wrong button. This thing is killing my back. I got bruises on my bruises. Aaron's note. Be right back. We'll find out.
Pop down for supplies. I'll grab some food in case you want to eat. New socks and shorts in the bathroom. All yours if they fit. Might be a good time to contact Jacob. His number is on the letter he sent. Be right back. Jeez. It only took Super Mom eight years to give a shit. Okay. So yeah, this is his mom then, I guess. Dear Miss Diaz, my name is Jacob and I worked with your sons, Sheen, Sheen, <laughs> Sean and Daniel on a farm in California. There were some problems and Sean went missing. I'm with Daniel now in Haven Point, Nevada. He gave me this P.O. box address. If you get this, I think Daniel might be in danger. He needs to, he needs help to get out of here. I can tell you more if you contact me at this number. Huh. This isn't her tablet. Struggles with too many open apps, but should be okay for basic browsing, geo. Dang. Yay, technology. She came prepared. Welcome to your new life at the Universal Uprising Church Haven Point. Therefore, and go make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and Son of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and I. And surely I am with you always. Started a sentence with and that's kind of odd <clears throat> to the very end of the age Matthews 28 1920 This is just a bunch of freaking gibberish Karen was always into low-tech I even think it's the one she had back then Oh. Karen was always into low oh, okay. tech. My bad. No, I thought. I even think it's the one she had back then. Well, I guess I gotta use this phone then. I really should finish reading this someday. Really, no need. <laughs> Jacob, it's me, Sean. Sean? No way. I've been waiting to hear from you for months. So you, you found my note in your sketchbook? Yeah. Where are you? You have to come here, Sean. I know. I'm not far. In a motel. Good. Listen, I, I can't talk right now. I gotta go. Wait! Daniel, how's he doing? Meet me tomorrow afternoon on Brandy Highway. There's a, a, a junction just above Haven Point. There's a, a, a wild mice ranch billboard there. I'll be there at four. Jacob, wait! I can't talk, Sean. Be there tomorrow. Please. Is he in the... Is he in the cold? Damn. He couldn't really talk. All oh, this is so messed up. Yeah. Let's just rest while I wait for her. If she comes back. Hey. Well, sorry hey, she it came took back. so long. The fucking store was packed. How you feeling? Nothing broken? Alter boys don't fight fair? Yeah. I'm okay. Double cheese, no onion. Right? That'll do. 
you know, I mean, blank or not, you gotta eat, dude. Got you some gauze and uh, antibacteria stuff for your eye. Mm. Hey, don't wolf that down. Or at least take a breath. <sighs> like you care. Sean. I do. I mean, come on, you had that one coming with that comment. Come on, come on. Karen. Don't act all hurt. It's too late. Where were you when I broke my leg when I was 13? Not with me. When Daniel got a bad flu a couple years ago, he didn't sleep next to him every night. Where were you? Where were you? Fair enough. So let's talk, because we do have to get your brother out of a cult. I'm listening. How did you two survive alone on the road for that long? Um... Dad taught us? I don't... Mm. I think that's more pushing against her. Which I get. But, like, we almost didn't, and we got We just got lucky. And got some help along the way. Total strangers. We even had our own little family. Good. How did you go to Beaver Creek? You know I don't have to answer your questions, right? You're right. So tell me what you want from me, Sean. Nothing, Karen. I mean, what do you want from me? A fucking hug? Hey, I just want you to know what I did. And why. If you care. So, ask me anything. You're right into it. All right. Why did you bail on us? I wasn't meant to be a wife or a mother. I thought I was supposed to. I tried to pretend for many years, but I was unhappy, and the urge to leave just became unbearable. I had no other choice. Are you serious? You chose this life. You fell in love. You made your own choices. Right? Making your own choices doesn't mean you can never fool yourself, Sean. After I had Daniel, you were about eight, and Esteban's garage was getting busy. There was so much going on around me, yet somehow I just felt that my own life was just slipping away. I felt like an empty shell. Sean, it was the hardest decision I ever made. I knew I might never see you all again. But I took that responsibility. I mean, I get that, but shit changes when you have kids. It just does. I don't really know why that would... So you just dumped us so you could be free? Yes. That's exactly what I did. You're just so fucking selfish. Yeah. But, I mean... <laughs> I wouldn't really expect her to just flat out agree with it. So what exactly are you doing in Nevada? You live around here? No. I'm uh, way out in Arizona. Sean, I told you. Your friend uh, Jacob wrote my P.O. box and said Daniel was in trouble. That's it. Arizona? Holy shit. It's just lizards and rocks. Yes, I found something there. New York didn't really do me good, so. Yeah, okay. Think I've heard enough. I didn't have a choice, Sean. 
We only have one life, and I didn't want mine to be spent in regrets. For years, I fooled myself, thinking I'd find satisfaction into what society expected me to be, and that was my mistake. I hope someday you can understand that. But I never stopped caring about you. <sighs> for what it's worth, I am sorry for hurting you and Daniel and Esteban. Mm, that was <laughs> that's kind of a bad take <sighs> I don't really know what I know, I know who you are Karen that still doesn't change the way I feel of course not I know I can't change the past, Sean. I don't think you would. I need some air. Sean, whatever you want to say to me, this is the time. Let's just get it all out in the open, see what happens. So, what did you do when you left? Where did you go? I pursued some dreams and failed. Learned the lessons. I guess all this time I tried to find out what really matters to Which me. Which doesn't involve a husband and two kids. It does to a lot of people. And I totally respect that. Just not to me. I wasn't good at making plans. Which is what most of modern life is about, right? School, job, marriage. Ask my mom and dad. They wanted me to follow their rules, their faith. Oh, and I tried, but I wanted to find my own way, with no security blanket. Family, religion, social norms. It's just all about security, after all. But it all just looked like a sweet golden jail to me. I tried to escape that. I mean, the thought itself isn't immature, it's the fact that... You kind of... You kind of started something that you can't really... Well, that you shouldn't leave. I guess you can. You did, but... Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Hope it was worth it. It was. For now, I've found my place in the world, with like-minded people. I'm at peace with my fuck-ups and my decisions. How do you make peace with bailing on your parents, your husband, and your kids? I know, that's hard to understand. But I think people should know who they are, and not fake it for anybody. <laughs> but I feel I feel like that didn't even. <sighs> that I don't know. Just that statement kind of didn't really jive. 
with what he was. Whatever. I mean, I get you wanted to leave and stuff, okay? But why would you ghost us like that? Not even a fucking birthday card. I just. I thought if I vanished, you would all move on. But I wanted to contact you guys so many times. I almost did. See, I get that. I mean, that makes sense. But you wanted a clean break from us. I didn't want to be a part-time, pissed-off mother. Not fair to any of you. I left when Daniel was still very young, so he wouldn't remember me. That is... Oh, he was having a pretty rough time with it, though. Yeah. But whatever. I wasn't that lucky. Oh, Sean. I know. Do you want to tell me how you felt then? Or now? Guilty. Yeah, I could kind of see that as a kid, maybe. I felt guilty that we weren't enough for you. No, no. You guys were the reason to stay. I left because of me. I hope I can make it up to you, Daniel, someday. I could start by getting his ass out of that church, cult, whatever. I want to click this option like twice before. So, did you ever actually miss us or dad? Of course, Sean. I do miss your father. He had such a big heart. He could brighten up a rainy day that was like his superpower. But above all, I missed watching you grow up. See how you saw the world. I missed sharing these moments with you, Sean. Okay, so this is where I can kind of be a dick, or... Or maybe kind of bond with her a little bit. No, um, bond in the right word, I don't think, but... We used to do so much stuff. Like when you taught me to ride because Dad sucked. Or when we went camping near Vancouver. Just me and you. You always loved night skies. I did stargaze a lot when I was in California. Trust me, the further south you go, the better it gets. <sighs> Whatever. You sound so... careless. It's like you can't even realize how much pain you've caused. I do care. It's why I'm here. To help you and your brother. If I didn't step up to help him now, I couldn't live with myself. It is kind of odd how kind of carefree she seems. Oh man, 
Esteban hated when I smoked. He didn't want me to die an early death. Fuck. Life can be so cynical sometimes. I remember he would smoke sometimes. Long ago. We didn't fight much, but when we did, I would go out on the porch and light up so I could calm down. Esteban would come over and ask for a drag. And then we'd just look up at the sky and watch the stars. Or the planes. I do miss that. I used to do the same with my best friend Lila. Sitting on the porch. Just letting time go. That's when you know someone is good to you. When you can just sit together. <laughs> Shut the hell up and watch the universe do its own thing. <laughs> okay, and with that, I think we're going to leave this episode here. I don't... <sighs> Again, I don't really know how... <laughs> I guess I'm just gonna quit saying that I don't I don't know what they're gonna do next. We gotta get him... Well, I guess we gotta go meet Jacob. But, uh... As far as her, I don't... I don't know. I, uh... I kinda just fundamentally disagree with a lot of her opinions are but <laughs> I might be a little biased by some stuff that happened in my life but I just I don't know in my opinion you don't get to be well I mean you get to do whatever you want that's how life is but She's kind of shitty to screw people up just to make yourself feel better. In my opinion. But, as always, thanks for watching. Love y'all. See you in the next one.